We were walking hand in hand on a white sandy beach of Hawaii. We were playing in the sun. We were having so much fun on a white. Hey, big shavers! It's Josh from Texas. One more time here in Texas before I pop smoke. The house is empty. The wife is gone. Might as well get a shave in, try out this Micromatic open comb in great condition as you can see there. This is the second shave I've had with this razor uh, and um, I'm hoping that it's a better experience than the first time because I believe the razor blades that I got for the first time were either defective or just not great on my face. So the first time I tried a CVS branded uh, razor, this time I'm using the Gem Razors by Persona. And uh, in addition to using that razor, I'm also going to be playing around with um, a Bay Rum scent that uh, Matt Glass was good enough to send to me. I prepared my face by washing my face and using this Corn Huskers lotion with a little bit of glycerin. And I'm just going to face a lot of that. I got it started in a bowl, but Try to get the right mixture of water on there, on my face. So this uh, particular shaving cream is called Ogallala Shaving Soap, rather, not a cream. Matt was good enough to send me a nice sample of this uh, uh, shave stick, Ogallala. As well as... Um, Three samples of different Bay Rum aftershaves. Thank you, Matt Glass. So, just to go back to uh, the Micromatic, my first shave with it, uh, I did everything I thought I was doing right. Um, you know, as I have with this one, hand stropped the blade. I went very, very light on the um, on the pressure, as this is an open comb, and uh, it's a little trickier getting the blade in there than some of the other uh, razors I've used. Very little pressure. Tried to use my fundamentals, and I got a damn fine shave on my face, but I had a hard time on my neck and ended up with a socially acceptable shave there. So, today I'm hoping for better results. No time like the present. So, it, the, you can see how the face is designed. It, it makes you kind of think that you should have it like that, but really the angle is a little bit farther off. So the uh, blades that I used were from CVS, I don't know if I mentioned that, which is a pharmacy here in the States. And um, I can already tell that these gem blades are much nicer. But what ended up happening was, and I'll show you a picture here. In the first picture, what you'll see is the post hand stropping pre-first shave picture of a regular blade. In the second picture, what you'll see is a rusted blade. And, you know, I had been talking to you guys and getting some pointers, and everybody told me that you had to dry the blade and dry the razor and not like any old DE leave the blade in the razor or you'd get rusting. So I did exactly that but the result was still a uh, rusty razor. I don't find the um, Micromatic to be an overly uncomfortable 
feel, at least not with these gem blades, but for the level of comfort that you get, I don't think it's as efficient as some other open comb uh, razors that I've used in the past. I should also mention that one of the things I'm going to try today is the um, with the grain and then uh, across the grain and with the grain shave that uh, Terrence Kemp uses. Now he says he gets a BBS or a baby butt soft shave from using that method. I want to see if I can do it with the Micromatic. Just feeling this first pass. I'm not confident that it's going to be that close. In the same vein, uh, Aunt Smith has started a bit of a charity for collecting money for cancer research in the UK. I can't think of a better thing to uh, donate money to. Cancer has no discrimination on who it will hit. I think you'd be hard pressed to find somebody in this forum who hasn't been affected by it in some way. My grandfather perished from cancer of the pancreas. So uh, I, I gave my contribution today and coming along the bottom of the screen right here is going to be a ticker and that's the place where you can go and make your contribution right now. Don't wait. Do it right now. Don't care if it's a uh, five euros, five pounds, five dollars. It's a good deed. And all inspired by Terence Kemp's unique method. So thanks Ant and thanks Terry for getting that going. I think it's great. I think it's over 150 quid at the moment, which is fantastic. So I'll tell you, after the first pass, I can tell you right now from an open comb perspective, I'm not sure it says effective a razor as something, another open comb like the Fat Tip Grande or the R41, two razors that I like a whole lot. I'm using a Samog bore brush, and I gotta tell you that the Ogallala soap is providing a very nice cushion. Pretty easy to lather, too. I've never seen a shave stick like that anywhere, but I'm awfully grateful to try it. The smell is very nice. Okay, second pass. So, keeping with Terrence Kemp's um, method, this one is across the grain. I think I might have said against the grain. What I meant was across the grain, obviously. But maybe for you, this would be against the grain. So I want to give a shout out to John McLennan. Uh, John is soon to graduate from college at Tufts. That is certainly an achievement. My wife just graduated from college as well. I know how hard it is. 
Unlike working at the office like me, although this weekend I've been working at the office. Seems to me like when you're in college, the work never stops. There's always a paper, a reading assignment. And the worst thing is in today's economy, no guarantee of a job when you get out. So, John, congratulations and the best of luck to you in whatever you choose to do. Maybe go back into the Marine Corps as an officer. Two passes, and I can tell you right now, another with the grain ain't going to get it done for me. But the good news is these gem blades are far superior to the CVS brand by the same manufacturer. I wonder if it will be a blade that will hold up better than the last one. So, a third shave, this one with the grain one more time. So if you haven't ever used one of these razors before, you can see how big the face is on it. And uh, Michael Smith may have said it best. It's sort of like shaving with a tombstone. Especially when you get up around this lip area. It, you gotta move your nose out of the way to get those hard to reach spots. Mm -mm. It's not going to get it done. But I will tell you this. If there's one overused term on the big shave, it's that your mileage will vary. YMMV. So what, ha what works for Terrence Kemp, what works for John McLennan, doesn't work for me perhaps. Is this a serviceable shave? For a Saturday afternoon, we're going to a concert tonight. Going to see the old 97s. They're uh, a band out of, I want to say Dallas. Really good band. If you haven't heard of them, check them out. So is this a good enough shave for that kind of a thing? Absolutely. Would I show up to work like this? Probably not. But my face smells great. Like I said, socially acceptable shave. And that's twice with the MMOC. I will say that I don't have any irritation, but I do not have high hopes for the cotton swab test. All right, just to prove that it's not because my face is wet, I'm gonna do this. My face is dry. This is a cotton pad. You see that? Going against the grain. So you haters out there, you're gonna say, oh, it's just user error. Okay. Probably, but what I would say is it's probably more along the lines of your mileage will vary. That's gonna be it for the shave today, but I also wanted to uh, use the Captain's Choice Bay Rum sample that I got from Matt. You really are a kind man, Matt. Mmm. I get cloves. Definitely some rum scent there. Still some lingering cotton on my face. Burns ever so nicely. A little bit of a alcohol feedback there. I'm not even going to use alum because I don't think I even got that close. 
I'm not sure I'm going to hold on to this Micromatic. Anybody want to trade? So, Bay Rum. Me gusta mucho. Really. Smells good. And I'm going to lock it in with some Bulldog, which I picked up at Whole Foods. My wife and I were out shopping and she was spending hundreds of dollars on food and I said, well, if you get to spend a hundred dollars on food, I want to try out this aftershave. Crickets. Actually, Jessie's pretty, pretty cool with the whole shaving thing. She's even started using a DE eraser on her legs. She's getting good with it, faster. So, that's my shave of the day, gentlemen. So, another reminder, if you haven't already done so, please consider going to the link below, right there at the bottom of the screen, and giving whatever you can afford to uh, help us along the way in uh, funding cancer research. It may be your own life you save. So, until next time, guys, many happy shaves, and uh, safe travels to uh, John, and... Uh, there are a couple weddings out there. Congratulations to you guys and to Tony Canzona. Get some sleep, buddy. I know you're working some weird hours. All right, guys. Thanks so much, and uh, I'll see. Maybe next time I'll see you from Germany. <laughs>